Uh, today we'll be creating a simple guessing game in Scratch. So let's go ahead and begin. Now we won't be deleting the cat, we'll actually be dragging him down just a little bit to about right there. And then we are going to head over to events and we'll be getting when flag is clicked. And then we're going to create something that is called a broadcast. The new message in broadcast will be called start. And then we'll pull out when I receive not message one, but start. And then we'll be moving on to creating a variable. Now what a variable is, is it's just something that holds a value or a string. So we'll be entering the name of it, which is a number. And then we can move on to set number two. Then we're gonna go to operators and pull out pick random. We're going to have random set to 1 to 10. So the number will be set to a random number um, as part of the guessing game. So we are going to go to looks and we're going to have our cat, a little character right here. And he is going to say, can you guess the number? Then we'll have it set for two seconds. And then we'll move on to senses, or sensing. And we're going to have ask. And he is going to ask. Enter a number between one and 10, one to 10. Then beneath that, we will have a repeat until. Inside this little area, we will have it where it is. We want to repeat until the answer is equal to our number variable. So it's going to keep on repeating this until the user gets the number right. Now in this section, we'll have two if statements. which the first one will have if our answer is greater than the number value. We want our character or our little cat to say too high, try again. And then what we can do is we can simply take this, duplicate it, and then place it under there. Then we'll move on to the next statement. And this one will essentially just be the opposite of this one. So we can take this, duplicate it, place it into there. And then switch the sign to where it is answer is less than number. Then we will have our scratch character say, or our little cat, and he will simply say, too low. Try again. With this right underneath it. Now that area is done, we can move on to the lower part of it, which will be, so, what it is, once you get the answer right, at the very bottom, this is where what the cat will say. So he is going to say, nice job. And then after that, we'll have a little notification underneath that saying, want to play again question mark yes or no
And then underneath that we'll have an if else statement. In the if statement it will be if our answer is equal to no then we will have it to where it stops all ending the game but if it is something such as yes in the else part of it we'll have it to where it broadcast starts repeating the entire process so if we were to test this out you can see our number variable is showing right here so it generates a new value every time we restart the game now what we can do is we can use this and test it so it wants us to guess a number between 1 and 10 so it, the answer is clearly 3 let's see if we type in 1 and it says it's too low so then we try again and we type in 6 which should be too high but if we type in 3 he will say if we got it right or give us a nice job and ask us if we want to play again if we say yes he'll take us on and we will play again which I'll just go ahead and go through eight next job we won would you like to play again no and then the game ends